Hi, my name is Dan Piakaj. I'm the head of healthcare and life sciences at DateArt. In the healthcare world, the electronic health record system was definitely a large innovation and implementation of it across the industry has been very quick over the last 10 years or so. The problem though is that innovation was fueled through meaningful use compliant instead of being fueled through actually streamlining the patient doctor interaction. So what we found is a lot of doctors are, are finding that the electronic health record is taking them away from the patient, slowing them down, and there's just too much information in the system for the doctor to actually digest easily. The, the state of the, the user experience is actually relatively poor. A lot of doctors are hiring scribes to sit there and, and deal with the electronic health record system so they can just deal directly with the patient. With a bit more of a focus on the user experience for the doctor, we'll see greater adoption of the doctor actually using the health record, maybe with a tablet in front of them while they're actually talking with the patient. The same way they used to use a clipboard and, and just flip through, the problem was the health record just isn't easy to, to navigate through and the doctors are outsourcing it to another person in the office. We're seeing a trend where a lot of healthcare organizations are coming to companies like Datar asking how do we actually manage this information? How can we deliver the right information to the doctor at the right time? The ability to use big data to, to go through that data and deliver the information to the doctor that they need at the time they need it is, is really where the next stage is in the electronic health record system. You know, we moved from actually doing clinical trials on living organisms, humans, animals, to in vitro on cells, to then in chip, where we actually have organs on chips and things like this. And now there's this idea of in silico, which is, can we actually use a virtual systems to actually model the human body so that we can test a drug to see what the likely outcome in the real world might be. And, and that's one of the paths of the future of, of drug discovery is actually running simulations of clinical trials and simulations of, of these kinds of tests. Some of our clients are in the space of drug research and the projects we're helping them with, what they find is actually these applications which may use artificial intelligence, big data, and, and other cognitive services actually help the pharmaceutical company fail quicker. So by not taking a long path down an avenue that leads nowhere, by shortening that, they're actually able to speed up the drug discovery process and get to that right answer quicker. 